Introduction to Alteryx, sharing, scheduling and further learning. The final video of this series focuses on how you can share your work easily with your colleagues using Alteryx zip files. We'll also cover using relative paths and how to schedule your work using Alteryx server. Finally, we'll cover off how you can continue your learning through use of the Alteryx community. So let's start with saving and sharing your work. In order to save a workflow, I can use the file, save as option. This saves a YXMD file or an Alteryx workflow file. If you open this file in a text editor, such as Notepad, you'll see that a YXMD file is essentially an XML formatted doc, which informs Alteryx of the configuration of your tools and how they connect together. It also stores information regarding input and the output field files. That's great, but if I share this file with a colleague, providing I'm inputting data from my local computer, then they will face an error when they attempt to run the workflow because Alteryx will not be able to access the data. This is where packaged workflows come in. So packaged workflows not only save your workflow, but they also save dependencies and then put these in a single file which you can then share with your colleagues. In order to create a packaged workflow, you must first save your workflow in the standard way. You can then navigate to Options, Export Workflow. You'll receive a prompt asking you which assets to package. I recommend ticking all, but some may be irrelevant. Alteryx will then generate an Alteryx zip file, which you can then share with your colleagues. All your colleagues need to do is unzip the workflow, which can be achieved by simply double clicking the file, which will trigger Alteryx to open. The user will be prompted as to whether they wish to import the file and they should select yes. Alteryx will then ask the user where they want to save the file to. Once they've done this and completed the process, Alteryx can then open the workflow. The workflow file will also be available to the user in the location that they asked Alteryx to import the file to. The final piece I want to cover off in this section is the use of relative and unc paths. These are useful if sharing work, but especially if the users are working on a system with exactly the same folder structure, such as a shared drive. The ability to change the paths of dependent files can be accessed by going to Options, Advanced Options, Workflow Dependencies. I'd advise doing some further reading on how workflow dependencies are important and how to use the workflow dependencies utility. This reading can be found using Alteryx Community. So now we're at a point where you probably see some good use cases for Alteryx but now you actually just want to understand how to schedule the workflows to run. And schedule, scheduling requires either Alteryx scheduler or Alteryx server licenses. In this instance, I'll show you how to schedule workflows using Alteryx server. So firstly, let's take an example workflow that I've built locally on my, my machine. This workflow connects to a database which contains detailed information about who users in our company of following on Twitter with the idea of identifying gaps in our social network. The workflow generates and sends an email to each individual within the company listing the Twitter handles of people they are not following. The underlying database that drives this report is refreshed weekly. So therefore we want to schedule this workflow to run every Tuesday at 9.50 a.m. So first things first, we need to save our workflow to the Alteryx server. I can do this by going to File, Save As, and then selecting my company's gallery from the list. If you do not have your company's gallery, you can use the Add Gallery option and enter the appropriate login credentials there. A prompt will appear asking for me to detail a name for the workflow. I also have the ability too to add a comment to the workflow. And finally, I have the ability to manage assets in the same way I do as when exporting an Alteryx zip file. Upon hitting save, Alteryx will validate your workflow before completing the upload. 
If the validation process fails, it's important to understand the error and ultimately debug the workflow accordingly. Alteryx will also give you the option to view in browser. So if we select this option, this will then take me to the Alteryx gallery where I can now schedule my workflow. And this can be achieved by selecting the schedule button. At this point, you will set the parameters for your schedule. I will choose the option recurring and set the frequency to weekly. I will then select Tuesday and set the time and first run date. I can then hit done. Alteryx will then prompt you to say that the schedule has been successfully created. Finally, it's possible to get an understanding of all schedules that, that you have available by navigating to the Schedules tab on the left-hand side. From here, you can navigate to any of your schedules and identify if they ran successfully and view any associated messages that were written during the run of that particular schedule. This is a very high level overview of scheduling through Alteryx. In order to understand more about the Alteryx server, I'd recommending, recommend searching through the Alteryx knowledge base, which is available on the Alteryx community. The Alteryx community is perhaps the perfect place to continue your learning. And as mentioned, there are a series of knowledge base articles which take deep dives into the different aspects of the Alteryx product suite. In the Alteryx community, you can also find the Academy. This contains links to live training and certification, which is free. It also links to the weekly challenges. This is a set of challenges released each week by Alteryx. They upload a workflow with input data and their desired output. And the idea is that you build a workflow that produces that result. It can act as a fun Monday morning challenge, and it's also interesting to see how other people would approach and solve the same problem. With Alteryx, there are an almost infinite number of ways to come to the same results, and this is just the point. Alteryx works exactly how you want it to work. It allows you to visualize the process in a way that makes sense to you. That's it for our introduction to Alteryx series. You should now have a good platform on which to go on and become a hugely powerful asset to your company and team. Thank you for watching these videos. We hope they've been very helpful to you as you start to employ the power of Alteryx.